Hello guys and welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 with Chatelier as Brandenburg. Now, uh, welcome back as I already said, but yeah, uh, I played a bit off camera to get to more interesting things right away in this episode. Right now the situation around here is such that Pomerania is going to get destroyed by me. Uh, Brunswick has uh, grown into three provinces instead of the original one. And all of these three are provinces I need to have in order to create the Germany. And I was checking that out. Actually I need these four provinces too. Uh, which are... three of them are Saxony provinces and one is Thuringia and which is in personal union with Saxony so basically Saxony has four, Brunswick has three and Palatinate has one province which I need and I've got two myself right now so we have still quite a lot of work to do and we probably need to break our alliance with Saxony at some point sooner or later and yeah so I was playing off camera I got some technological advancements uh, I increased my navy a bit just a bit I'm afraid but it is getting larger that is good thing uh, I've got a trade fleet of four ships and that's actually all the navy I've got, I'm afraid. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. And yeah. Mm, I suppose now it's the time to start the war. And we will get quite a few allies. Teutonic Order will not join, but it's okay. I suppose they've got some other things to worry about. Uh, yeah. Now the... Ah, I forgot the maintenance. Okay. It will take some time to recover, but... Nevertheless. Uh, yeah, the allies are honoring uh, agreements. Good. Oh. Okay, cities demand old, old rights. I can either lose one stability or for the legitimacy. Ah. Mm, it will take quite a long time to recover this, so I suppose I lose the stability. I think I can afford to boost it back to level 2. Sorry about that. Um, Yeah, I suppose we'll st begin by defeating that army over there. I'm afraid we don't have too good general with us today. Fire 2, shock 1, maneuver 0, siege 0. So, we could have a lot better, but we don't have. And I don't lo actually like that. But, it's good enough to destroy their armies. Which is good. Ah, indeed. We have... Ah, Austria, Riga and Saxony are my allies. Savoy is in personal union with Austria. And Thuringia is in personal union with Saxony. So we have <coughs> quite a bit the upper hand in this war. Okay, I... I think we shall retreat. Well, we probably won't be able to win the war anyway. Ah, I wanted that province. Actually, I need to. Well, ah, oh, I am sieging this. Interesting. I also need this province, but. Okay. Hmm. 
No, now Austria is huge. It has large areas around Netherlands and Belgium. Uh, well, Austria itself and a bit more, and then this area. Uh, I think it's actually in France already. Yeah. Okay, we have no longer claim on the Bohemian province, which I cannot pronounce. Okay, it's I don't know. It's it's not that important for us right now, I suppose. And yeah, they have back to Austria. They have personal union with. Savoy, if they manage to inherit Savoy, they have huge areas. Ah, technology. Diplomat, yeah, I suppose that's good. Colonial range and naval morale. Okay. War quickly. My treasury is not doing that well that we could fight for many years, I'm afraid. But I was thinking that I will take one of uh, my yeah my enemies at a time. First Pomerania, then what's left of Brunswick, I suppose I'll take that. And after that, I suppose I need to start fighting against Saxony. But that will be a bloody war, I'm afraid. We are both mm, somewhat strong nations. Well, strong if compared to many others within the Empire. Sonic Order is calling us to war against Lithuania, Poland, Genoa. Well, I suppose we can we can do that. Let's see, there you go. Oh, well, I don't know. It's not actually that bad, armies. Okay, we should be able to get Stettin soon enough. Soon. Tactics difference. Ah, yeah, there are Thuringia or Saxony who don't have. Ah, Thuringia does not have a good military tech. Which means that our siege will take a lot longer. Ah. Okay, 70% chances of it getting annexed. Ah, yeah, I can show you. I've got a few claims to the west. Just simply because I can, but yeah. Three claims on these promises. These two I really need. This one would make life of the Hansa much harder, since it would be divided again. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to fight them sooner or later. At some point, at least. Okay, right from Hansa, we got two diplomats. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Why should I use it? There's not really much places to use. Oh, actually, I could start taking claims on this Saxon, yeah. Saxony, and well, whatever. Ah, these provinces here. In order to form the Germany at some point. Okay, let's see. Could we annex them? 
Uh, no, we cannot. Why? Ah, oh, yeah, we got only the capital, and they got to ah. Dang it! So we took this wall for nothing. I'm afraid we could make them our vassals, but then we would have to cancel one of our diplomatic relations, since each vassal takes one relation, relation to maintain or something like that. So we would have four relations and we can maintain ah we could, we would have five relations and we could only maintain four so it would not be a good thing Let's see I'm I suppose we won't be able yeah we won't be able to siege that so I suppose we just need to make the peace I'll take the trade power they will revoke their core in there and all their money. I'm afraid that's all I can take right now. But 112 ducats is not a bad price. I. Yeah, I would have hoped more, but you cannot always win. Protecting our trade. I suppose I'll make one more light ship so we can get our mission uh, create a proper fleet most likely done. Uh, actually, I'm not sure will it be done. Uh, well, probably done. If not, then we need to make yet another ship. But such happens. So, in that wall, okay, we didn't lose much, actually. We didn't gain basically anything. Well, let's see. Uh, I know that Genoa has around 7,000 troops here. Also, I think. Uh, so it does not lead too much on Lithuania and 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 what's it called? Uh, Poland. So suppose uh, actually I cannot reach that place as well. There's this twelve thousand heretics. Here, which are blocking my way, and I don't think Pomerania will let us transfer troops through their areas. I suppose I could build, um, I don't know, temple would be good. Okay, this would give, ah, Brandenburg. Uh, I suppose I'll take that. Two more ducats in taxes is a pretty good thing. It will, uh, yeah, and that's in yearly taxes, I suppose, not monthly. Uh, uh, it would be cool if it would be monthly, but that would be a bit too overpowered. Ah. Incompetent diplomats. We can either lose prestige and Increase the time we need to fabricate claims or lose diplomatic power. Hard decision, but I think I lose the power. I suppose it is important for me to. Ah, whoa! Ah, yes, there are Denmark and Sweden against Poland and Lithuania also. And of course, Norway. Ah, so... Well, there's not much we can do about things around here. So I'll... I'll leave this war be. I'll actually lower my army maintenance for a while. 
just to collect some money. Okay, so... Whoa, we are fighting with Hansa, it seems. Who is Austria? Ah, Austria is not fighting against anyone, but they just have troops. Ah, yeah, they're using ships. They're transporting. Okay. We are finally having a trade fleet. Fire, light ships. It's... It's not too much, but it's something. It should increase our trade power in Lübeck a bit. Uh, we got uh, 46.9 right now. We get 2.17 ducats uh, monthly, which is uh, actually pretty good. Could be a lot better, but it's a start, a humble beginning. Which actually reminds me, uh, while I'm recording this, there have been over 100 views on this Let's Play series. Which, okay, 100 is not that big number, but it's a beginning, a humble beginning. And I thank you all who have been watching my videos. Because if no one would watch this, I wouldn't make these videos. And if I didn't make this, no one would watch them. So, yeah. But... What? Okay. As of late, more and more people are requesting representative national institutions. Ah, okay. I can lose stability or 35 of each uh, monarch powers. Suppose I lose the powers. I don't want to lose stability. Ah, we are finally getting rid of smugglers, which we got, I think, in the last episode or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but back to the viewer thing. Yeah, thank you. And if you like the video, please like and leave a comment. And if you like to see more, subscribe. There has not been many subscriptions so far. But I haven't done this for a long time yet, and I have still a lot to learn in this YouTubing thing. But I suppose eventually I will get better in this thing. I hope, at least. It would not be a good thing to get worse. I suppose with my skills you cannot get any worse than this. Or maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, back, back to the game. game. Okay, Poland and Lithuania are getting... Well, <laughs> they are not in good shape, let's just say that. France is slowly uniting its areas. England has taken almost all of Scotland and Ireland. There, uh, there's still no Spain. It's, it's just Castile, but it's in personal union with uh, Aragon. This is actually odd. Aragon is in personal union under Castile, but it leads a personal union with Naples. So I suppose, let's check. King Juan the third the trust Mara. Let's see Naples just they have Ah yes, so basically King of Castile rules also Naples. That's pretty interesting. Mus Moscow is huge. I suppose we will see Russia sooner or later. But I'll, I think I'll try to create Germany before the 17th century. That's my goal. And after that I will unite all the areas belonging to Holy Roman Empire under the Germany, I suppose. And 
I haven't think, uh, been thinking much about joining the colonial things at first, since uniting the Germany is more important right now. But I suppose I will eventually try to get some colonial lands. It wouldn't hurt, at least, to have something. But only time will show. So we are fighting walls, which uh, mean nothing to us actually. But we are fighting them for our allies. Uh, well, we don't have much war exhaustion from that Pomeranian war. Which is good, very good. We could boost our stability, but I think I'll leave that as two. Three is maximum. But there may come some events that will improve our stability, and it would be wasting our administrative power using uh, them to get to stability three and then get a an event which would improve our stability, but it cannot be improved since it's at the maximum. So, uh, stability plus two is just fine. I still haven't managed to get any cardinals, since uh, my max points are too low for that. For example, if I wanted this, that Castile is getting, I would need quite huge amount of points. Oh, the Emperor has enacted an Imperial Reform. Uh, Emperor gets plus one diplomats and plus one diplomatic reputation, and all members get diplomatic reputations minus two. Ah, yes, there's the. Uh, Imperial... Ah, wait. What? Ah, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Right now there's... Ah. Yeah, being a member of Holy Roman Empire gives plus two, but now this reformation uh, nullifies it. But our legitimacy gives still two and a half for us, which is good. What? Austria and Papal States have been... Oh, Papal State, not States. Well, they have been fighting? Okay. Austria got quite a bit of money from that. Diplomatic insult. They have served an insult on us. What? Hmm. Okay, they don't apparently like us much. And we don't like them either. They haven't nominated us as rivals. Uh, sorry about that. As rivals, but... I suppose that... That day will come. Okay, they broke the alliance. I see. Apparently, the war will be near. Uh, we have a claim on that, actually. We could uh, fabricate claim on Wittenberg, I suppose. We don't need that province. Oh. Well, it's. It's a good province, in a way. Uh, but we don't have to have that to create the Germany. But uh, more provinces means we can have more army and a stronger economy. So I suppose it's worthwhile taking a bit extra provinces here and there. Okay, we have improved our relations with Bohemia, which is good. 
they still don't like as much. Online survival. Pomerania and Poland are in military alliance, and Lithuania and Pomerania. Okay. Nice to know. Bohemia. Oh. So they just got four provinces from Poland. That's that's quite a lot. I'm not sure what will follow from that. Okay. Uh I think my next war will be against Brunswick. I suppose actually I could start the war right now. They are allied with Trier, but Trier is... Uh, wait. Yeah, it's two provinces. Won't be able to field much army. Ah, we lost an advisor. Yeah, my economy is not doing too well. Actually, Unless there's some... Well, this... Ah, uh, it's... Plus two, it's got huge upkeep. And it costs... Terribly much. Uh, what about here? Tax modifier. That would be cool. I suppose I'll take him. Has liquor at... Stability cost. Weird. Oh, okay, more taxes is... Good, although stability cost is not that great. But I suppose we are soon ready for the war. Just get this army fixed and then we shall take Altmark to get at least one province in this episode. Or at least I hope. I suppose we are ready. I won't be getting any allies, it seems. It doesn't matter, I'm starting the war anyway. Actually, I think I'll create my first artillery. It should speed up things a bit. Ah yes, Brunswick has still quite a few huge amounts of war exhaust. Actually, I'm not sure where I can see that all too well. Ah, 4.15. Huh? That's something. Yeah, I suppose after this war I will call it an episode and I'll see you again sometime but first let's let's take care of this wall shall we okay Austria is fighting wars against Trier actually which is apparently expanding there ah my first artillery should help us with the siege oh Ah, smugglers again! I hate them. I suppose I'll lose the stability and money this time. We can always boost the stability back. Although we should probably save the points to get administrative tech 7 and get another idea group. But stability plus 2 is still. What an important thing. Okay, now we should get some progress in here. What? Let's see, how good is our air? Uh, if he dies, then he dies. I bet I'll have another air. It's... Um, my air is... Uh, well, let's just say not very good. Yeah, we got Casus Belli and Thuringia, which is good. Let's see, can we... No, we can't. Fabricate claims on there. 
shame actually. We have claim in here, I believe. Yes. Okay, we could start making claims on Bohemia again. I suppose we could do that. We have always one extra diplomat compared to many other nations. So we we can afford having one diplomat doing claims all the time. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got prestige on our side, I believe, or they have negative prestige. Um, well, I don't know. But we will get this alt mark in this war, I promise that. Unless the game crashes and my computer burns and shuts, but let's, let's not think about that. Okay, let's just speed up a bit to get this done with. Ah, so we did... Okay, Oldenburg is allied with Austria. Adrier did not join the war against me, actually. So it's just me and Brunswick. Good. Okay, we are slowly getting advanced in here. Although I would hope it was better chances. Well, okay, it improved quite a lot. Okay, they... Yeah, my well, spies are actually a diplomat, but... Spies and diplomats are basically the same thing in EU4. Unlike in EU3. Ah, good. Now, onward, men. To glory. And they lost their army. We lost a bit over 700 men. But I suppose we can handle that. And... Let's get back to the siege. Well... This war is something I did win, at least. Thank goodness. Uh, we are not running out of manpower, it seems. We are basically at max all the time, but... The thing is, we are not that rich nation and we would need more okay we got claim on here again I believe yes I suppose we could start taking claim on Preslau too Venice and Croatia or Croatia what I don't know I'm not good at pronouncing things I suppose. I'm ah, sorry about that. Okay, come on, let's let's get this thing done. What? Who is calling to arms? Austria against who? Uh, Venice, Switzerland, Naxos. Okay. I suppose I won't be needing to do anything in this war. It just it just is. Okay, let's see. We could probably even annex them. But I'm not sure is that a good idea. We would get a huge amount of overextension and our relations would suffer a lot. But on the other hand, we would get two provinces right away which we need. So I suppose we will annex them. And uh, right away, core making in these two. Yeah, I think I'll lower the upkeep of my troops for a while. Now it's starting to look something at least. So far we've 
taken five more provinces in this let's play. It's it's not much, but on the other hand, uh, it's under 40 years we've been playing this, so I suppose it could be worse. But yeah, I suppose I'll call it an episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, see ya!